up. He knows he's gonna take damage mid lane. Flapper returns. But how does Abanaga get through this one? He's not level six just yet. The fear is gonna land. He flashes. He still gets feared. Nocturne saw the way and knock. And Nocturne. Well, Jordy Ulton someday has Haze, so if someone pulls aggro, there's a chance he can lock him in turret. There's no teleport from his ear. There's no help coming for someday. Got the passive shield, means bonus armor. Flashed away from the tether. Here comes the 3v1. LeBlanc is on. He ults it for the cannon, who had aggro, oh! but Fudge lives with... Excited to try to defend. They're going to look Nocturne for the plane. He's going for top side. Cannon over the top, but it's not enough damage. Wish comes through, and Cloud9 wish they hadn't gone for this one. Helper's getting low, so I don't know who he... They don't get him just yet. Knocked another flash through. The heal means one. The fear means a flash for the other, and Blabber has knocked him out. The desynced recall. Let one go and catch oh, the other one. Oh, oh. an easy way. Blue smite. On the bottom side, trying to find a flanking angle in from the side. They're going to look for the pincer play here. Jensen has not been spotted. Timing on the exhaust from Ahuhi on this cannon, too. Mark the cannon. Big AoE damage possible. Cloud9 getting the river first someday on a war, but he's going to kill it and get rid of the fog. Can he find the right dive? Jensen seen with the ward over the wall. No sweeper available to get rid of that one, but Drake is being started. Someday hits the front line. No one's on a flank angle. Cloud9 are spotted. Poke for Tabadaga means very little. Who he's safe enough for now. Fudge faints it, doesn't go in. His flash, the only tool available. Closer, she burns the ulti. Long cooldown, hits no one. Shock hits FBI, he spell shields it. Jensen's still waiting in the wings. Again, this time kills the ward. Will Kennen go for a flash ulti over the wall? Is he walking for the flank? He is. 100 Thieves have low time. Who he's at half health. Here they go. Turns off the lights. The move speed comes in. Here's the dive. Shuffled out, still hit three. And Jensen kills Abadaga. Cloud9 in for more. Jensen will not die. Blabber will stopwatch. A trade two for one. Who he flashing out. Jensen gets a third. A fourth chase down by Berserker. And closer is the last. Will force that, so it's not like you can say, oh, well, it's a free oh, mouth fight. Oh, they're going to go inside. Up. Scoop. There's no way you're going to slap this one. It's 3v1. Nocturne flies in, but he's against the crowd, so he gets nothing done. What are we looking at with the Baron still getting burned down? 8,000 health. Look for the Malphite. Look for the jungler. Sunday coming around. Does he get a good target? Jensen, you can see Fudge waiting in the wings as well. Has his own flash, but you can see he goes safely away. Nocturne turns off the lights. They're going to try to burn down the Baron Whoa. over the wall. The miss spike from Closer is too early. And here comes Malphite. Hits one. Just the cannon, though. And he's got backup. No kills so far. Flaver saved. Tanky enough. We're going to help. And it's Closer dropping without flash available. It's Baron and a one for nothing. Berserker? And Cloud9 are not not done. They're hungry. Berserker wants more. And he serves up two for Jensen. Gets a third for himself. And that's the bottom line ace. That could be game one. Cloud9 are going down mid and they are going for the win. Only 27 minutes into game number one of the LCS finals here in Chicago. And Cloud9 dominate. Cloud9 already got what they wanted. They got a pick, they got a bear, and a Berserker said, I want more! And he'll take everything! 100 things! Both teams are aware of it, and Silas did just TP back towards mid lane, so it will be a fight for it, and Someday is running out from base. Fudge did not actually back, so as long as they can delay this a little bit, it could be 100 Thieves' favor, but you also see Cloud9's bot lane is cheating up towards mid. Yeah, they commit the bottom lane first. Looks like 100 Thieves are going to have a little bit later of a call up for the Zeri bottom lane, but because the Herald leashed back, the health replenished, and they've got some extra time. You know, his W over the wall. Chrono shift stolen for Abinaga. Blabber slowly taking damage here. Red buff regen comes in for the knockup. Damage on a close. They can res if needed. They'll go for it, and he gets the revive. Locks Jensen in. Zap in for Zeri. Polymorph can they get the kill? First blood. Two for one already. That 100 Thieves. So is going to try to deny at least some of it. I wanted to just thin out that wave a little bit, I guess. But Closer now in a scrap here with Blaver, who's going to have to run. They run the knockup. There's going to be enough. The dunk comes across as well. Ulti buys a bit of time. He flashes the safe. He's going to be followed up by Closer. And now for round two, Jensen burns his stopwatch. Our reinforcements enough, though. Gets the self ulti. A quick chrono shift stolen. And a flag of the wall will spot the movements. Q follow. Polymorph. He flashes and dies for nothing. It will not Knocked be able out. to be picked up by Cloud9, so still, you do get the gold uh, and the experience, and you deny it from 100 Thieves. Berserker trying to take things into his own hands here. Blabber over the wall. Hard engage, is FBI already dead? Cloud9 walk back in, will it happen though? Blabber should have the safe revive, he jumps in. 
Yumi on the wings. It's gonna time out soon. Yeah, they're gonna try to time it out. Abinaka wants to kill him back when the heels are back in. Dives in for more. Hui kills off Jensen. Is the re-engage enough though? As someday is low, he flashes, but he still drops. And Cloud9 are fighting back. Abinaka falls as well. They almost even up the gold. That pick on the FBI really set the tone for the fight, knocking down that blabber. Woo! Starting that fight off, and now Closer in trouble again. Closer can EQ over the wall, even while rooted, but we're gonna wait for the fight to start in the first place. Closer gets the dunk, but there's not enough going on. Already down for one. Over the walls, FBI stays alive, but the fight itself is what matters. Fudge gets revived. Health bar's low, and a quick one comes out as well, but Abadaga no longer has any safety left. Someday jumps, but will someday live? No, he won't. And now Huhi, left alone, gets the slow, but Blabber is on the chase again. And every fight a banger in this one is a polymorph. FBI still gonna drop, and Cloud9 go for more. Blabber's in for a double. A reviving nothing comes back, and Abadaga knows he's left. 20 minutes, it is heartbreaking. You know what's coming. Jensen there trying to hunt around for Closer. They spot him now. They can't let him in the pit. Fudge says hello. Closer dives in, and it's not going to be close enough. Berserker says goodbye and sends him back to the fountain. Ah, oh, it's skeet shooting for Berserker, knocking. The Red Bull Baron power play, 4,300 gold. The third Drake's up, but they want inhibitor towards first. This game is just completely out of control now. Hunter Thieves gonna force. Engage the Berserker, will it be enough? Yumi opens up and already Closer is dead. Not a scratch on him. Stun comes across, he might self-res, but does that even matter? Fudge's inside the base, double bombs land, and Fudge now on a rampage. Cloud nine, now on a roll. Diving in for more, onto the Nexus turrets. Who cares if he dies? Fudge is good for a triple. It's Cloud Nine's world. We're just living it. If they are crushing hundred thieves here in game number two, they're pushing in and looking to take a second inhibitor here. Twenty-three minutes in, it's a slaughter, and they're having fun with it. Which one of these players' names is Berserker, by the way? They're all <laughs> Berserkers on Cloud9. Definitely jungle oh. goals there. I hate to see it happen. Pan away. Nothing to see here. Yep. There is a lot you can try to do with this one. Ulti's trade into the durability, but here comes a jungler, and Fudge gets number seven. In for a bit more now, a fight in the top river. Is there enough damage is the question. The knockup is in, but it's a revive already. FBI dies again. Closer dies again. Cloud9 see anyone, and they just see food. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be Cloud9. Nexus turrets, they don't stand a chance. Game one was a stop, game two was somehow a comeback, but they won even faster. Chicago belongs. Okay. Fight left, so this is always knowable. And it's like Cloud Nine's like dog. If it doesn't switch aggro, but the tackle make it switch aggro. Blabber's low, he spikes for health. Sven gets the kill credit. And now they're back on. Ignite is on. First blood goes to Sven as well. Blabber flashed the safe. And closer, I think he's also looking at what he can do right now. Early investment into movement speed here. Really good damage. Jensen holds the ulti, though, as Blabber goes in for more damage. Be careful, though, Closer. Going for a bit more. Will there be any surprise damage? Jensen holding the ulti. Not too much going on just yet. A bomb onto his jungler. Blabber goes in for the trade. Wants to hit him. Nearly the kill. Summoner heal. He flashes, and he delivers the bomb. And it's going to be the revive as well. So Closer knows that Jensen could be the target. Q flash lands. Otto gets the kill. And Closer to retreat, but he's going to make it a one for one. Oh, that was it. Fudge does have flash. Now, can he get rid of all of it? Gets away from one. And there's the flash. Pull the tackle back. They're going to get it. Someday Flash is going to get in a range. They can just hand him the kill. Cloud9 are going to take the big of the neutral objectives here and pick Bigger up the buff. Always better, Kobe. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it was two crabs to one dragon. That feels... <laughs> Someday, everyone up towards top. 4v3, no Zillion ult. Fudge close to Meganar. Flashes away, a knockup. Who he can take the tower for a while, and they send back one. Here come the kills. Jensen should drop, but here's the re-engage. Stopwatch from Adaga. Gonna try to find the kill on the top side. Fudge able to trade back on a closer. Probably relatively close, based on the fact that 
farm versus kills. Ooh, a really nice combo though, Sven. Gonna sell full, doesn't have flash, dropped. Who he takes the kill. And he can kite out, FBI, safe enough for now, but has to respect the rest of the damage out of Berserker. Back, you'll get the res, but will the rest of it matter though? Is there a fight? Closer, drop. he's got a spike for a heal, or the Drake would kill him, oh, and on Agros, he'll stay alive. But a huge mega arc from Fudge gets two. Staying alive in the front line, Blabber has to run. Fudge low, but 100 Thieves withstand for now. Berserker happy to keep hitting. Can he get the ricochets? Closers one it away. Blabber finds the kill. The ricochet gets the second. And Cloud9 do not care what your early game gold lead is because they fought and died over the river and they will win it again. And they get the Cloud Dragon on top of it. My goodness, those frontline health bars got everyone is low, but we're back to live, we're scrapping. We're fighting again, this time on the top side. Blabber gonna be the target, getting it low. Will there be a res? Who's gonna be the target? Already they've killed off Closer and they're just fine into this one. Cloud9 having to fight again and again and again. Who he dives on in, sets him up. Will they get the knockdown? Zillion ult is down. Finally one on the board, but it's already traded back. On the sides is Fudge. Gets the stun, but it's reposted. Someday goes for broke, and his ankles are exactly that. Three kills for Cloud9, losing only two. And they get the fourth. FBI, it's time to run away. Vicky, by the way. Coming into the LCS and turning heads. They're gonna find Jensen as the target. Has the revive, they may let him hit it. And they're gonna put a stopwatch. But will there be the answer? Yes, Closer gets one kill, but the return is already there. One for one, who, he an easy target knocked up. Will Blabber get the kill? He's got reinforcements. Blabber might not make his way through. And 100 Thieves get their second kill, getting that little bit. Key moment in the game here, Blabber going for it. He's looking for it. He's gonna flash engage, knock it through there. Will they get the rest of the kill though? Abadaga still attacked, the double hit back by Closer. Buy some time. Time to really get anything done. It's hard to see how you round the bear, and there's just that one deep ward on the other side of the pit, but 100 Thieves have no vision in the pit, so they're trying to push in, but Blabber's looking for the flank. And here comes Blabber. He's going to see everyone in his eye. A quick tackle for Closer. Buy some time. FBI is untouched. Abelaga wants back in, though. Who he flashed to safety. But can the 80 carries do it? Fudge pops off. He sets up two. Sven stays alive. A double kill for the NAR. And Blabber just revives. Jensen happy to mark Abadaga for now, but maybe they still find the kill. The bombs come in, and the kills follow suit. Someday gonna drop a double kill for Berserker. The rookie becomes the rape boss. Baron and Shirley take the title now. Still, Berserker sitting on that flash. They have been unable to force it. Flabber's going in! He's gonna try again. Bit of time bot, but they still get the front line. And Huey dies to the ulti, but they trade one back. A crucial kill, an overstep. The raid boss is down. He's dropping purple minions everywhere. You can always go for the tower, and 100 Thieves just turn tail and run. Yeah, 100 Thieves, they were thinking there. Maybe there's an opening. The third in as many years. Now the engage is on to Sunday. Buys a second, and that's all he'll get. They trade back. Berserker's on to the Nexus Towers. Cannot kill FBI. He's low. He's not quite dead. And the health bar remains. A triple kill for a man true to his name. They will knock down the towers, and it's F. B.I. left alone as he will watch his base die. Cloud9 find a rookie 80 carry out of Korea, and he will do everything to uplift his team on a roll swap support, on Jensen out of retirement, on Blabber shaking off his demons. Cloud9.